Hello, hello everybody. Angie here. I am coming on to do my weekly make for my challenge here on YouTube. Hashtag one to six picks challenge. Each week I roll a single die, whatever that die la number that die lands on, I have to randomly select that number of prompts and do a make with it, okay? It could be anything from a tag to a journal page to a collage to, to really anything you want, as long as you use those prompts in addition to whatever else you choose to use. Okay, we're going to get right into this. It's going to be really easy. We are on week 18, and the prompts that were rolled and selected are bling and a glass or a bottle of some sort, whatever you want to use on that. And how you interpret those prompts are completely up to you. Okay, so I had to do a little searching and see what I wanted to use for that. And I came across this pretty fun little digital right here that I had. And it's got this mason jar, and that's initially what I thought I would use for the glass or the bottle anyway, was a mason jar. But when I saw this little image here, I thought that was so adorable, I wanted to use this. So I came up with an idea. So let's see if it will come to fruition as I see it in my head. Okay, we're gonna get right into this. How's everybody doing? Sure hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's enjoying my weekly makes. You feel free to join in at any time. I'm gonna cut this out and I'll fussy cut the little images out as well. Okay, um, let me cut these two. All right. I'm not going to tell you what I'm making yet. Let me see how wide this is. Four and a quarter. Okay, I was thinking, just keep it really simple. I don't want this too thick, so I thought about backing it at first, but I think I'm just going to take this piece here, and I love using these digitals and turning them into something else other than maybe what it was originally designed for, like maybe this was a little, you know, maybe a little notepad or, you know, a little folder of some sort, you know, or a tag, I don't know. So I like to kind of think outside the box with some of these digitals when I can and create something else with them. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this into thirds because I wanna strengthen this paper because it's just copy weight paper. And by folding it in thirds, it's a little bit stronger. And that gives it about almost one and a half inches. I think that's good. I like the length, almost six inches. I like that. Okay, the only thing is Barely, barely holds my little image here. So let's cut that out real quick. I really don't like those scissors. Okay, I got it a little closer to my face here. So, so as I'm cutting this out, I'll just kind of run over the challenge with you guys. As I said, feel free to jump in at any time. I am going to be doing this until all my prompts are gone. And like I said, we are on week 18. So you never know how many prompts you're going to be working with each week. So after I do each make, which I post my videos on a Friday, I do the drawing for the following week. So it's not where you have to do an immediate make. You have time to think about it and process the prompts and think about what you want to make and how you want to put those prompts together. And I started without, I think about 150, 160 prompts. And I'm going to be going through them until I get them all used up. And I'm trying my best 
kind of be unique and make something different each week. Don't be too, too repetitive. Now, I'm sure I'm going to be at some point making more than one of something, but for the most part, try to make them unique and look different. Okay, that barely fits. I'm going to have to cut off those little seashells, but that's okay because we've got plenty of seashells inside the jar anyway. And then my little image will fit. Okay, just barely. I was hoping I have a little bit. I could make it a little wider. Let me see. That's not bad looking. That's not bad at all. I think I'll do that. Okay. I just don't want my piece to be too thick and you'll see why once we get it together. So I'm just gonna use a little glue stick on that. This one up as well. Since they're meant to go together anyway. There we go. And on this one, I think I'll use a little wet glue. right there. Okay. I think I'll bring in one of these word elements. Let's do, excuse me guys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, let's do happy days. Make this a really easy make here. It's a little long. Okay, I was thinking I would like a little bit of contact contrasting paper on that. 
So I brought in some elements in a piece of book page. I think I want to use a little bit. And I'm just going to do a strip. And this is some beautiful vintage paper that was gifted to me by my cohort here on YouTube, Anna G, over at Making Joyful Journals. side better yeah I think I want to do that Good. Okay, I like that. Still kind of feel like that's a little too long. Uh, I think I want that to raise up a little bit. So I'm going to use this little strip that I just tore off, fold that over a couple times. Just for a little dimension, and I'm going to glue this down on top. So it will sit up, raised off of the paper a little bit. Okay, then I'll trim that off. If I had some foam tape, I would use that, but I'm all out of foam tape. I can't cut a straight line to save my life, can I? There we go. Just a little bit raised off of the piece. I love these soft pastel colors. I'll tell you. I think it's one of my favorites. Okay. And then... Got some ribbon here. Put a little ribbon over the top. Maybe a little ribbon down at the bottom.
No, just the top. Okay. And then I've got this little clamp here. And I've got my tools. And I think I'm going to need a jumper in. hoping I would have just a plain Okay, I gotta open this one. Bring a little closer to my face so I can see. Mm. Slipped on me a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then this one. Go in there. Okay, we got a little dangle on there with a little pink to bring out the pink on there. And for my other prompt is bling. I'm going to put that right on the top. Clamp down. Okay. And then for some extra bling, I brought in a few little flat back pearls. And I thought we would 
dress up the front just a little bit with those. I definitely want to put one right in the center of that little starfish right there. Um, I chose these little small ones because they won't be too bulky. Because if you haven't been able to tell already, what I'm making is a little page marker and I'm trying to keep my elements somewhat flat so it won't bulk up the page that I put it in too much so that will dangle on the top of the page and won't interfere <clears throat> excuse me won't interfere at all mm. let me look at that Yeah, I think it needs a little lace on the bottom, doesn't it? Just to kind of complete that. that's better okay I'm calling that done see how quick and easy that was guys <clears throat> excuse me looks a little dry I have three more little flat back pearls I guess I could use those along the bottom they won't take up too much space and three easy peasy I like it very delicate my pretty little page marker isn't that nice what do you think guys and that's just using some pieces from a digital and the prompts are bling so i have this little bling here as well as the little flat back pearls and glass or bottle we've got the mason jar filled with seashells i love it and that will just go right in your page and that will dangle over over your page i like it a lot okay i'm calling that done really really easy guys like i said make whatever you want in this challenge and I think I have a journal I can put that in, as a matter of fact. I've got to look with the sea things. And, and then I've got these little fun little bits I can use at a later time, maybe in another project. Who knows? Okay, guys, I'm calling that one done. My pretty little page marker, bling, and glass or bottle. Before I let you go, we do got to pull our prompts for next week. So let's get that. Good 
shake. And let's roll the dice. Die. Five. Okay, finally we've got some a larger number. Pulled two the last couple weeks. So I gotta pull five out of my bowl here. I'm not looking. Give them another mix. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Now this is where the challenge comes in. And five. Okay. Let's see what we got. Making all these random prompts work together in a make. That's the challenging part, especially when you have a lot. So we've got the word pastel. Wow. Pastel would have worked perfectly for this one, wouldn't it? Purple. Okay. Rainy. Hmm. And this one I had to write. Ah. This one says roll again and add that number of prompts to what we've got. Oh my. All right. And the fifth one is smile. Okay. Got to roll again. Here we go. Okay, one. I gotta pull one more. And that is fragile. Okay, now like I said, how we interpret, how you interpret these prompts are completely up to you. Okay, and do whatever make you want. All right, guys. Well, here's my make for this week. A nice little book page marker using the prompts of glass or bottle and bling. And I've got some bling throughout. Made a nice little page marker. And for next week, we've got six prompts. Pastel, purple, rainy. Well, actually five because one of them was roll again. Pastel, purple, rainy, smile, and fragile. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so very much for stopping by my channel. I truly appreciate it. If you found something of value on this video, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment and a like. Feel free to join in on this challenge at any time. I would love to have you. And as always, take care and God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.